All right, folks. So what we have here is a 66 Mustang. I think 65 to 67 are the same. What we're gonna do here is, um, we're gonna move the seat back for the customer. The customer wants the seat moved back. So they make these brackets that attach to your seat tracks and they actually move the seat back. So what I did here was I just marked it so you get an idea of what the original seat tracks do. With the seats moved all the way forward, that's where the mark would be. And as far back as you can with the factory um, tracks, this is how far it is. You can see the gap over here, going towards the back seat. All right, so when it start the, uh, the operation, underneath has four plugs, four rubber plugs, just pop them out. Then there's four nuts to take them out. They're a half inch, all right? No metric stuff. Once you take the four out, there's nothing else attached to the seat. The seat will lift up and out of the way. All right, that's what the seat track looks like. I want to lift it up and I want to put it over here on that bench. Hold on. All right, so these seat track extenders, uh, this set is sold from CJ Pony, all right? There's a lot of other companies that are out there that make them. Basically, they're all pretty much the same. All right, so what you're gonna do is, if you look at it, this would be, uh, let's pretend this is your original uh, seat track, okay? These are the holes that they go into. You see the little uh, studs? This is where your seat track would normally be. Right here, see how it ends right there? So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna put these seat track extenders, bolt them to the old seat tracks, and you're gonna move the seat track back. Okay, so you're taking your old seat track, you're gonna bolt them onto these holes. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. The back bolts, you don't have to cut them off because you have this little gap here anyway. You can leave them on there, but the front ones would have to be cut. All right, so you take your old seat track, put it through these holes. They come with nuts, put a little Loctite on them, okay? And then you cut the, the stud flush. Once it's, stuck, um, once it's cut flush, then you'll be okay, all right? But like I said, you don't have to cut the stud in the back because it's gonna extend back anyway. All right, so that's the way it looks like. And we go through there and let's go Let's go install them. All right. All right, so here it is with the seat flipped upside down. There's a left and a right to these because it has a little notch. Okay, see the little notch? The little notch is on the adjuster side. And then you see these little holes? They're supposed to go over these factory rivets. Okay? If they don't fit flush, you're gonna have to either grind down the rivets or you just make that hole just a little bit bigger, just enough so it fits in there. Sort of like uh, chamfer the holes a little bit, so it goes. All right, this one here goes here. Okay, because this is the front, okay? So technically, we're just gonna move it back. So that means the mounting hole is gonna be forward. Okay? So we move the original seat back, looks like about maybe two inches. So I can get a uh, measuring tape here for you guys. So let's see. The middle of the stud, the middle of the stud, yeah. About two inches. All right, so yeah, so we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna move the seat back two inches. So in this position right now, since the seat was already back, we're gonna move it back more because now the stud's gonna go that way. All right, but like I said, we're gonna have to cut this one. We're gonna have to cut this one in the back. Okay, because that one's just gonna sit lower. Remember, measure once, measure twice, cut once, right? So make sure you have it the right way. This is the back of the seat. That stud is gonna fold in. That's the one we gotta cut. Right now we get those little nuts in there. Let's get a little Loctite, and we'll get these little buggers tightened up. In case you guys want to read the instructions, I'm going to leave them right here for you. You have to freeze frame it and get the idea. 
Up here tells you to cut all the studs. But you don't have to. If you want to, yeah, you can. All right. So, get a little Loctite. I'm gonna put them on the nuts and put you down so I can do this. All right, put them all on. Now we're gonna spin them all down. And lock them all into place. Bring them down even. All right. I know how much you guys love watching people on YouTube spinning their wrenches at high speed, turning the screwdriver nuts. Who cares about that? Anyway, I did it for you guys. Use two hands to torque it. All right, make it nice and tight. And when I meant torque them down, I didn't mean torque them down because there's no torque specs on these. So what I did was I used the old German torque specs, good and tight, okay, just make them good and tight, and that's it there, okay, now I'm going to go get my little cutter, whiz wheel, and I'm going to whiz wheel those fronts, which are these, alright, I'm going to come flush, alright, alright, so you take your little uh, cut off wheel, air, electric, alright, Cut it off nice and flush. That's what I'm gonna do with this one. See it coming out nicely. But whatever you do when this falls off, don't make it fall in here. Because it catches on here, it's gonna burn. And you might get a fight a fire and then uh, you need to get a seat. Alright, so be prepared when you get to the end to catch that. Alright, like I said. So you catch it when it gets to the end. All right, there you go. Let's get this out of the way before it starts to fire. Drop onto the ground. Goodbye. All right, so you're just gonna clean it up a little bit, make it nice and smooth. There you go. Nice and smooth. Now to put it back. All right. Handle it. Throw it right in. Throw the nuts in there. Put the covers back on. All right. All right. Here you go. So we manhandled the seat back in. Put them back in the original spot. Okay. Remember that little stud that I showed you? See, it's going to hang out in the back. It's not going to make a difference. You want to cut it because you don't want to see it. That's fine. You can cut it. Less cutting, the better. All right, so I'm gonna bolt those on here. I wanna see, as you can tell, the seat is back about two inches. All right, it used to be up there. Same thing up over here. See, this is the original back. Now it's back over here. All right, that's where it moved to. I'm gonna go lock it up. All right, don't forget to uh, install new nuts. They're cheap enough. Once you put them in there, let's get put the little covers in there. All right, there's four of them. Put them in there, and then here we go. Now we're gonna check. All right, I marked it here for you guys, so you can see. All right, this is the original mark when it went all the way back. This is the new mark, all the way back. All right, that's about two inches. Bring a little thing here to check roughly yes about two inches same thing here roughly two inches all right this is where the original mark of the back was which is this piece here it's over here and now it's over here all right and you can see the gap over here is different all right that makes a difference there how else can we look to compare You can see all the way back, you see there's two inches of the bracket showing. On the other side, there is nothing showing. You can also bend this here like this. And then we're gonna bend this one. All right, see the difference there? All right, that one's a little forward. This one's much further back. 
Now, this should be enough for a, a nice tall person. But just remember, because you move the back, you're gonna you're gonna short the person that's short. That's what the problem is gonna be, right? Because now you can move the two inches back. Going forward, if you're a short person, you're gonna have a problem there. I moved it forward for you folks and you see this is the original forward mark and this is going to be the new one all right so all the way forward is going to be two inches back so it's going to be a little short for you people all right this is the original forward mark and now it sits back about two inches all right that's it looks like a nice design seat looks nice and safe like i said if you want to cut that that little stud off you can I leave it in there just in case you want to go back to original. I'd rather uh, you replace one stud than to replace four studs. Try to keep it original as possible. All right. That's it in a nutshell, people. All right. Ciao. Thanks for watching.